Hmm, it's a splendid castle. But to a lady from Gorgeous, isn't this like a doghouse or a rabbit hutch? Douch! You idiot! You really do have zero tact! Usalia, why do you have to corner yourself so much? Usalia, you are a demon, but you're still a child. It's only natural for your family to have protected your life. It can't be helped. No, Usalia has done something that she can never take back. Something that you can't take back? Yes. It happened right after Majorita cast her spell on me. I hated spicy food, so after the spell was cast on me, I cried every time I had to eat curry. My father and mother tried their best, and put in a lot of effort so that I could eat curry without any problem, Plip. But it didn't work. There were times when I acted like a brat because I didn't want to eat my curry. Usalia was a very, very bad kid, Plip. But one day... The curry my parents made for me was a special sweet curry. But I was tired of eating curry every day, so I told them it was yucky. To be honest, it was the best curry I've ever had. In the end, those were the last words I ever said to my parents. I bet they were really mad about how stubborn I was being, Plip. Because of their daughter's stubbornness, they were killed. So they must hate me. But no matter how much I regret my stubbornness, I can't apologize to my dead mother and father. Is that when you started to like curry? Yes. I swore that I'd eat curry without ever thinking about how yucky it was until I can get revenge for my parents. That's why I love curry now, Plip. Oh, what a tearjerker. I now see you in a whole new light. See, you should learn from Usalia and try eating a carrot. Show some spirit. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Why are they so friendly? For demons. Especially overlords, the elite of the elite, to share their heart-touching tales and sympathize with each other? This has to be a bad joke. Let's end this quick! Let's super go! It's my turn. I'm so hungry! I will! I'm doing this! Ha! Huh. Dessert is coming! Me too! I will never run away anymore! Yeah. Alright! Yay! Meow! Meow! You menu item! If 
you leave it to me, we'll definitely win. I'll support you. Don't 
It's over. Yeah, let's hurry. Crystal, your phone is ringing. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you guys go on ahead? I'll catch up with you. Hello? You took so long to answer your phone. I was worried that Void Dark had already killed you. By the tone of your voice, you don't sound very worried. I'm serious! You're too skeptical, Christo! So, what do you want now? I don't have much time to spend on the phone. It's nothing major, but I thought I should inform you of something. Just now at the council meeting, hard-headed higher-ups with scary faces decided to destroy all the netherworlds! What? They're already making preparations. I've never seen a missile that huge. They're calling it the Anti-Netherworld Annihilation Weapon Armageddon! Wait a minute. 
I don't understand what you're talking about. Huh? I figured a genius like you would have been able to read between the lines. I'm pretty sure you know better than I do, but isn't Void Dark absorbing energy right now? We're all trembling with fear. So when it was decided to remove the cause of our anxiety, we all agreed with a standing ovation. We decided to destroy the entire netherworld along with Void Dark. Now do you understand? Wait. Everyone agreed? Does that mean you agreed to this too? But I'm still here! Yeah, I had no choice. It's better to bend than to break. Besides, we're the only two who know you're there. If I disagreed, I'd end up like you. They'd probably say, You're a spy for Void Dark too. I can't look suspicious, though, can I? No. There's no point unless I'm the one who eliminates Void Dark. That's the only way I clear the suspicion around me. Right. The only way you can prove that you're not a spy is if you kill him. I guess you better go supersonic and finish him off, huh? All right, good luck! Dear God... <laughs> oh, how wonderful to see garbage like you here. Oh, and the little daughter is with you. You've got guts! Coming up to us knowing that will beat you up, little brat! <laughs> it's just good manners to greet your guests, even unwanted ones. Mother! Father! Margarita! Let my parents go! Let them go? Do you want me to kill them again? You're such a terrible daughter. Calm down, Usalia. Don't fall for her taunting. <laughs> I know what you guys want. You're trying to destroy Lord Void Dark's precious magical spear. Too bad. As long as I'm here, that's impossible. I want to ask you something, Margarita. Why does Void Dark want to absorb all this energy? He already has quite enough energy. What reason does he have for wanting more? Do demons need a reason to desire more power? Well... In order to unify the netherworld and create a utopia, obviously the more energy you have, the better. It's hard to believe that he could be sane. How can he build a netherworld utopia after murdering countless demons? Survival of the fittest is common sense in the netherworld. No? It's common sense anywhere. It's their fault for dying. If they didn't want to die, then they should have been stronger. Demons who deserve to live will get their utopia. Those who don't deserve to live won't make it. It's that simple. That's wrong, Flip! Those who survive can decide whether it's wrong or right. That's how the netherworlds work. That's the kind of society we live in. What would a kid who grew up at her naive parents' loving side know about anything? You are just pompously pushing your own agenda, saying how life's sour and harsh. She didn't say either of those words. Today will be the day when I finally punish you really harshly. Super prepare yourself, Majorita! You again. The Muscle Gorilla. <laughs> Don't think I'll go easy on you just because you complimented me! That wasn't a compliment. I owe you big time! Since this is the last time I'll get to see you, I'll pay it all in full with super interest! Don't be hasty. First, the opening act. Those are... The citizens of Toto Bunny! They're the ones who tried to protect this castle from Margarita! How do you like my overload skill, Broken Faith Machia? 
It's the same old bullying trick. But it's very effective. Yes. It's a lean strategy that cuts down an opponent's will to fight. What a terrifying overload skill. What will you do now? If they're in your way, you should destroy them. They're only corpses after all. S stop joking around! Obey or die. If you choose to obey, I'll let you join my corpses. <laughs> this quick I'll get super reckless all men are my servants dessert is coming Ta! Thank you. 
Let's go! leaves us with a bad taste! Uh... Is it after Usalia? It's still alive. No, it's a corpse, so it's dead. Or maybe not. Anyway, they're still tough. Bro, leave this to me with my new skill that I've been secretly working on, Zoroken Punch! Wait, Zoroken. Don't stop me in mid-motion, bro! Master... I'm here! Usali is right here, Blip! Take... this... Looks like it used the last of its energy to give you that letter. A corpse that had its own will. 
Are Majorita's powers weakening? <gasps> what does the letter say? Read it, Lil Usa. This is the recipe to the special sweet curry flip. The curry that I told my parents was yucky. Is it just the recipe? There isn't any message written on it? The fact that their final letter was a recipe is kind of disconcerting. Usalia, can you let me see that? Th this is... My, it's rare to see Sir Kilia this surprised. Did you find a secret code? Yes, I did. At least, you could say that this is a code of sorts. Huh? The mixture and combination of spices suppress the spiciness, and the mixed vegetables bring the sweetness out to its limits. This recipe was made specifically for children who hate curry. It's a crystallization of hard work and wisdom. The spices are suppressed, but it's uniquely made so that even a child could understand the taste of curry. They most likely tried and failed many times. They must have had great tenacity, no, love, to get it to this point. For their daughter, Usalia, to live a happier life, they worked hard till the very end. Your parents weren't mad at you. They sure didn't hate you. They loved you very much. If they didn't have infinite love for you, then they wouldn't have come up with this recipe. Mother... Father... That curry actually was good! It was very, very delicious, Blip! Thanks to that curry, Usali was able to enjoy curry! Thank you... Thank you very much! I'm glad... Usalia... <laughs> What's up, Sarah? Are you gonna cry too? <laughs> what are you talking about? That was such a boring story, I was trying to hide my yawn! <sighs> what about you? Your eyes look watery. Sh shut up! I I'm just sweating! From my heart! <laughs> Damn it! That's so touching! Usalia, if there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to tell me. Yes, thank you, Flip. Demons possess love? This can't be. Why are these people doing the complete opposite of what I expect them to do? Don't let them fool you. You cannot be fooled. They aren't demons. <laughs>